Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to Frontliner YouTube channel where we always make sure that we give you best analysis based on politics, breaking news and any trend that can come across our Frontliner YouTube channel. And if you are joining us for the first time, kindly take a second guys, subscribe, comment, like and you can even share this video so that it can reach to many people. So today I'm having a very very interesting story about uh, Morara Kibaso, Jeff Koinange, a journalist from Citizen TV, and Hussein Muhammad, that is the spokesperson of President William Samoruto at the State House, and even William Samoruto himself, because uh, those are the key issues that you want to talk about today. So, yesterday, William Samoruto have a bad day and a good day. Let's start with a, a good day where he started his four tour in Nyanza region that he started with Migori County and in later evening he went and finished his rally in Kisumu County where he received a very very heroic reception from the resident of Kisumu County that show love to him after he nominated some of the ODM uh, opposition leader to work under his government especially the treasury that John Buddy the treasury seat that have never been occupied by any Luo here in Kenya since uh, we got independent or since we started having uh, the presidency or having these seats here and there here in Kenya. So John Buddy was the first person to occupy uh, the office of treasury here in Kenya, ladies and gentlemen. So when William Samoto returned here in Nairobi, County after finishing his rally in Nyanza 2, uh, which he finished with Kisumu County. There was a very, very interesting story. He, his story at the Citizen TV, a national media house here in Kenya, about the interview between Morara Kibaso, Jeff Koinange Live, and Muas, Muhammad, Hussein Muhammad that had a very tough time by answering some of the questions that was being asked by Jeff Koinange to uh, Morara Kibaso to answer them because you know very well that Morara Kibaso have been following up each and every project that William Samoruto is launching or relaunching here uh, in Kenya when he is doing his tour. So even before I continue, I just wanted to listen to one or two about the clip that I cover, uh, that uh, I have just received, that I received yesterday from the State House after the interview have ended up. This is the video. I just wanted to watch it. And to our president, God has given you a chance to lead this nation. You're already a billionaire, no secret. There is nothing more that money can do for you. Money has already made you president. There is nothing above this. Please, if you really care about corruption, begin with yourself. Call yourself into a meeting and ask yourself, would you like to continue being a president that leads in corruption or that leads in development? And as a president, your word should mean something. Don't lie at every opportunity. You are breaking our hearts. You are disappointing us. You are depressing us. Because every time we wake up and remember that you are the president, we are traumatized. You need to remember that you are leading people, not graves. Care about us. Care about the children of Kenya. Do not be very happy to transport and export your most energetic and brilliant labor of the youth of Kenya to go build other countries just because you've built a very corrupt system that does not create opportunities for them. Mr. President, I want to assure you that the silence that you feel today is not peace. It is the silence before a storm. Hmm. And let, let's not bring this amorphous um, uh, conversation that uh, the deputy president had no real influence in the government. The deputy president was the deputy president constitutionally. You cannot say government stopped running because the deputy president was in any disagreement with any politician. Government projects were still running in every ministry. We just have a president that lies. He cannot escape any opportunity to lie to Kenyans. Recently, there was an opportunity to lie about university funding, and he could not let the minister lie. He had to take it up for himself and lie, and say that he received a HELB loan in 1987 when actually HELB itself was constituted in the 1990s. 
He just can't help it. Hmm. The president's word should mean something to the people of Kenya. The president's word should mean something. It should be valuable. When the president tells you, I will do, it should be law. But now we have a president who just promises and promises and promises, but he has no intention of doing it. Hmm. Just playing politics throughout and the politics of dishonesty. This is a one-term president. We can't have this. If he doesn't resign before 2027, yeah, then he's a one-term president because he's not going to win that election in 2027. In Mohammed, the uh, State House spokesperson there. He's just doing his job. He's doing his job and, uh, you know. Uh, I'm so sad that they have an honest man lying for them. You think he's lying? He is. Uh, this is the number of the president. We can send, and him, you said he called. We can send him 10 bob on M-Pesa and see whether the name is William <laughs> Ruto. I mean. Here it is. Uh, okay. I don't think it's appropriate yeah. for me to start saying the number of the president but, but, on, on but live don't, television. Don't forget, don't, uh, but, but let me just show you. Yeah. L l let's send him uh, uh, no, don't 10 No, don't send him. L let's send the no, president 10 bob. Remember bo during the Gen Z protest, right? Yeah. Walisema watal salimi a rais. Yes. Na wakam salimu. So uh, it would not be responsible of me to share the number of the president? No. Uh, but no. it's okay. Whatever Hussein says. But the number was all over the net. A a according to me, okay. According to me, it's not really about whether the president called me or didn't call me. Yeah, as I told you, much as the call was there and much as whatever we discussed, out of respect, I said, I'm not going to say what the president told me because whatever the president tells you is in strict confidence mm. and you need to respect his privacy. Sure. So for that reason, I'm not going to pursue that matter further. What I'm going to say is um, let them controvert everything that I'm showing Kenyans about the projects they've been launching because those tombstones have the name His Excellency Dr. William Ruto on them. Some of them he's launched them when he is president. He wants to put across a lie that um, something happened along the way. And I know where he's coming with that lie. He wants to say it's when he was deputy president and uh, maybe he was being frustrated and so on and so forth. Yeah. What about these ones that I'm talking about which happened when he is president, all right? Mm. And what is the president's willingness to fight corruption? Because you see, as long as we have a corrupt president, we cannot have a country that, that will end corruption. Because and we'll receive a PR exercise on TV that the president is interested in fighting corruption when the president himself is corrupt. Stand, stand by, Hussein. Let's just get a response from Morara himself because, you know, it's a he said, he said sort of situation. Morara, Hussein Mohammed says, you're a liar. Um, stand by. It's not a he said, he said thing. Stand by, Hussein. Somebody, it's a citizen, yes. Uh, it's a citizen. It's a citizen claiming to have been called by the president. Let him substantiate it. He just won't accept it and then you say, it's a he said, she said thing. That's, that why, right. that's why we're giving him the floor, Hussein. Stand by. Um, well, when it comes to truth, so far, my record speaks for myself. Everything that I've told Kenyans has turned out to be truthful, and even him, Hussein Mohammed, has not been able to controvert any of the projects that I have visited in the 19 counties. Yeah, but regarding the now, call from the president, he regarding said, the call, he says you're lying. Uh, regarding the call from the president, I wonder why Hussein purports to know who the president calls and who he doesn't call. I have the number of the president here. I'd like to call the president and ask him, because Hussein yes. wouldn't know. Yes. Hold on, yes. hold on, hold on, Hussein. Yes, this is ridiculous. No, I'm not going to engage in this. This is ridiculous. It's very simple. This what is the number he, of the president. He's saying you, so that I'm telling you nothing, no, no such thing happened. Yeah, yeah. Let him substantiate it. Let's not do a fuck and forth here. It's not worth it. I said Morara and team and any other Kenyan can hold the government accountable, but do it truthfully. I'm not going to engage in a back and forth about whether the president called him. I'm telling you, the president did not call him. I work for the president. It's very simple. Let Morara substantiate. There are many ways to do that. All right. Morara, substantiate. Okay. I don't think it is necessary anymore. I have told you, here's the number of the president, isn't it? It's here. His Excellency Dr. William Samoy Ruto. And I don't know why Hussein purports to know who the president calls and who he doesn't. I did not say I spoke with Hussein Mohammed. I said I spoke with the president. But that set aside, all right, whether we spoke with the president or didn't speak with him. The focus right now is why does the president lie that he has 
launch this project it's until to the end there are three clips I hope you have understood something that was going on at the state house, the state house yesterday. It was not very easy as uh, some of people are thinking because Hussein Mohamed accused Morara Kibaso of lying about allegation images of the president William Samruto. So guys, let me ask you a simple question. During that interview, do you see anything that Morara Kibaso was lying about? Morara Kibaso was just talking about a serious issue and something that can be appointed or can be seen because he have been covering all these videos that Williams, all these moves or steps that William Samoto have been doing here in Kenya when doing his rallies uh, in different parts of the country. So, State House spokesman Hussein Mohammed has revealed serious accusation against Morora Kibaso, claiming that Kibaso fabricated a story about receiving a phone call from President William Ruto. Mohamed stated her statement has sent ripples through Kenyan politics as he demands Kibaso to provide, provide a proof of the alleged call. You know very well that uh, Hussein Mohamed is a spokesman of William Samuelto and he have to defend Ruto on any occasion. And that is the truth. Because we don't know if it is really true that President William Samuelto had a short call with Morara Kibaso. Because how comes that State House spokesperson Hussein Mohammed is able to notify who is calling William Samoy Ruto and who is not going to call William Samuelto? So sometimes we should just be told. Or to, we should just be told the truth about our nation here in Kenya. Because Hussein Mohammed was supposed to back up or help President William Samoto at any means at that moment of time that there was an ongoing interview at Citizen TV at JKI, JKIA Live. So during a heated press briefing, Mohammed asserted that Kibaso claimed claim of a president phone call is nothing more than elaborate first falsehood. So it was a very, very difficult interview, ladies and gentlemen. So keep on uh, staying tuned from Frontana YouTube channel because we will be notify you on anything that can arrive on our Frontliner podcast. Stay tuned as we will be notify you again on what will be happening today because as I am talking to you right now, William Samoruto have visited the people of Migori to launch some of the projects that he promised them. So stay tuned and let us be the next video that is going to be uploaded shortly within no time.